Moving on, South Africans queued up on Thursday outside the St. George's Cathedral in Cape Town as Archbishop Desmond Tutu's body arrives for funeral. A requiem mass funeral service will be held for the anti-apartheid icon on the 1st of January. More details in our next report. In a simple pine coffin, the mortal remains of Archbishop Desmond Tutu arrived at his final resting place on Thursday. The anti-apartheid icon will lie in state at Cape Town St. George's Cathedral, ahead of his funeral at the weekend. South Africans formed long queues outside the church from the early hours for their chance to bid farewell to the man known as Tata or Father. Among them was Cape Town resident Mamelo Letsupa. Always used his voice to the benefit of others, to benefit that are, um, you know, on the sidelines of society. So I'm here to commemorate that, to pay my respects. Tutu died on Sunday, aged 90. The Nobel laureate had requested the cheapest coffin and did not want any lavish funeral expense. A requiem mass funeral service will be held on Saturday, where President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to deliver a eulogy. The cathedral, where Tutu served as the first black archbishop of Cape Town, was a safe haven for anti-apartheid activists during repressive white minority rule. Tutu will be cremated and his remains interred behind the pulpit, from which he often preached against racial injustice. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.